737 this morning the country reeling after several terror scares at our nation's airports right on the September 11th anniversary. We start off in New York. Two military aircraft followed an American Airlines flight bound for New York from LA after a report of a disturbance there. The nature of that incident is unclear but it's not believed to be terrorism. Then also in Detroit police temporarily detained and questioned three passengers at Metropolitan Airport. This happened after the crew of the Frontier Airlines flight from Denver reported suspicious activity on board. Two F-16 fighter jets shadowed the flight until it safely landed. Three passengers were taken off the plane in handcuffs, later released with no charges filed against them. And then security at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport shut down terminal there for about two hours on Sunday. They briefly detained a stuntman who left a truck containing an automatic weapon, a pistol, and pyrotechnic equipment unattended. Turns out that truck was driven by a member of the crew of the Discovery Channel show Sons of Guns. And then lastly, a former New York City police officer was also detained on Sunday at Kansas City's main airport there after security screeners detected suspicious items inside his carry-on luggage. The suspic suspicious items tested negative, though, for explosive material, and the part of the terminal that was closed was uh, reopened several hours later, though. Authorities say all of these incidents show that security technology has really improved exponentially since this attack happened 10 years ago. And here to talk about that aspect of this story now is Hap Aziz, our tech expert. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Good to be here. Um, talk to us about how our technology has advanced. What has been going on behind the scenes that maybe the average Joe doesn't know about? All they know is that they're taking off their shoes at the airport. Well, uh, in fact, the taking off the shoes at the airport, that might be going away uh, sometime in the not too distant future, which would be nice. There have been a lot of incremental changes and some new technologies and a lot of new techniques. Uh, one of the main technologies that's being introduced in airports across the country is X-ray backscatter technology. It's a different type of X-ray. The, the traditional X-ray sends radiation through the body. X-ray back, backscatter reflects the X-ray. It's minuscule doses. You get more X-ray during the flight than you do in the in the technology, but it paints a picture of exactly what's on the body. Um, that sounds really intricate. Uh, also intricate is what we were teasing about a little earlier. Will we not have to take off our shoes? And do you think that that actually may get people a little nervous because now I think people are used to taking off their shoes, although it is a hassle because they think it is that extra step for security. So what is this one all about? Well, there's new machinery being developed that will allow people to keep the shoes on yet still examine the contents of the shoe or what the makeup of the shoe is. Um, so, so it's technology that will um, uh, take care of putting the shoe on the x-ray belt so you don't have to do that. So you're still getting the same ex level of examination uh, without the inconvenience. The idea is, is that we want to try to return to some normalcy, whatever that might be in the airport so that we can move through more quickly, feel more comfortable, and th I think overall that will help the flying public. Uh, one of the new technologies that's out is a type of um, a video surveillance that allows to see abnormal behavior in crowds. In fact, this technology was used to identify the Times Square bomber after the fact, but what it does is it, it will look at a group of people and be able to tell sort of this, this person, those, that group of people, might you might want to look a little more uh, in, in, closely at what they're doing. So that's that's the type of thing that once everybody's more comfortable, that type of examination of crowds at the airport will help. And, and along those lines, there's also remote chemical uh, uh, detecting uh, technology that will be in place at the airport that will help find explosives. So part of the, 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 the strategy is to spread out the examination of folks at the airport. So it's not that bottleneck at the line, you go through the, the security checkpoint and that's it. Rather, as soon as you come in the door, even before you come in the door, people are, are checking you out checking everybody out in non-obtrusive ways. Right, and, and at a place where you're not even thinking about it. You're getting the coffee That's as right. you wait, and maybe a camera is looking at you saying you don't belong with this crowd or vice versa. Right, exactly right. All right, all right. it's uh, definitely interesting to learn about what the technology is all about. And I think as more people learn about it and understand, they could be a little bit more at ease as they go to the airport and have to go through all of the security measures. Well, that's the nice, nice thing about the United States is when we have a challenge, we come up with some innovative ways of handling it. Let's make it happen. Have yeah. a Z's. Thanks so much our tech experts. Sends back to John. All right. Thank you, ma'am. 742.